Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, April 4th, and today we'll cover the trades for yield max funds. Well, you know, you know which funds. Uh, but anyway, let's get to it. So there was two, two of the four had trades yesterday. Um, it was TSLY and it was MSTY. So we'll start with them as usual. You know, the more exciting ones are the ones that have trades. But what you see on TSLY, which by the way, they never have trades, but they actually closed out their positions. Um, they were up a lot. And as you can see to the right, it only cost them three cents and two cents per share to close that position. So they closed all of their positions and they opened a new position uh, that expires actually into next week, not this week. So they chose April 12th, which is next Friday. And guess what? They did not use all the contracts, which is I, I think is a very smart move. Um, so we'll take a look and see how, you know, this looks on the spreadsheet. What I have here, obviously, uh, yesterday was declaration date. So if you haven't seen it, obviously, I covered this in my video. Here's the spreadsheet. But, um, you know, the big ones, just so you guys know, if you care, Coney was 285. Misty was, f I'm sorry, Coney, no. Misty was 412. I'll cover the ones over a dollar. Phoebe was 117. And Vidi was 260. Co where's Coney? Coney was 279. Okay. So, all right. So let me get to the spreadsheet. All right. Here's the 175 synthetic. They did not touch their synthetic. Um, TSLY did not. They, the trades yesterday only involved the weekly calls. But if you look at the 175 synthetic, uh, still in the hole because Tesla is priced at 168, which is well above the 175. However, Again, this synthetic position expires May 17th. It would cost $16.3 million to close. The 170, we're getting a little closer. It only costs 453000 to close. But again, that one also expires on May 17th. And we know a lot can happen to them because obviously we have earnings before then. So let's take a look at the April tab. Let's see what activity we, we had. Well, overall, Tesla, you know, it went up. I think uh, it was another bloodbath in the works. And f as far as I know, uh, Jerome Powell said something and people felt good about it. So the, the stock market flipped. Either way, I'll take it because um, I, I bought some TSLT on my swing trading journey in the morning. And I, I checked later and it was green. I was like, okay, that's good. But I, anyway, Tesla was up 1.1%. TSLY was up 0.97%. So, okay, not bad. Um, so what did they do? They closed out their contracts that expire 4-5, which, again, that cost $0.02 cents and $0.03. Cents. So overall, they made a profit with both of those contracts of $8 million, more than $8 million, which was pretty good. So good job, Tesla Fund Manager. Because as you know, you know, well, not as you know, but... They they actually went a little further out of the money on those 6.6% and then 5.2%. 5 5 um, but I guess they did not have to. Um, but either way, they made money. We'll take it. And then what do we got? So we got 20,980 contracts expiring April 12th. They chose a 172.50 strike price. And it's 2.45% out of the money. That's a little tight. And by the way, look what I added. I added yield. So, by the way, let me see if I could fix this and move the format upwards. There you go. That might help. Uh, yeah, helps a little. So this is how much they yielded overall on the money that, for opening this position. So they yielded 1.53%, okay? And this is for, you know, a, a week or so, a little more than a week, so... You know, that's typically what people say is they try to yield 1% a week because 1% a week is 52% annualized. Um, so I'll, I'm going to capture that now and going forward so we can see, you know, get an idea of what the trades did. Last week's trades were around 1% as well, 1.06 and 1.4%. So we'll keep an eye on that. Another addition to the spreadsheet, I added outstanding shares and the perfect day to add it was declaration to X dividend date. So on declaration date to X dividend date, we have 100,000 new shareholders. So, you know, that's not bad. 
Uh, cash went down, cash in the negative because, again, t you know, they updated the, the sheet because today is ex-dividend date, you know. These numbers are as of today. So um, overall, cash and treasuries went down $24.1 because they got to pay us, right? Again, this is a fresh spreadsheet. This is April, so we're starting a new month. Again, this month in April, I'm going to cover four funds in whole. And then at the end of the month, I'm going to drop one. But we will we don't have to talk about that now. We'll talk about that later, which one we're going to drop. All right, so outstanding shares, we're looking at $45,425,000. Total income for the month, $5.3 million. Distribution would be $0.12. Cents. Daily income, $0.12. Cents. Daily yield, 0.75%. And here we go, another new field. You know, since I capture the daily yield, let's capture what the annualized yield is, and that's 274%. Obviously, with one day, and that one day they're moving, you know, a gigantic transaction, this is not, you know, realistic calculations. So, because typically once a week they're able to do a big trade. Um, so this number is obviously, you know, not realistic. So it'll change. Active tab, they have... 20,980 contracts with a 172.50 strike. That's 2.45% out of the money. However, again, today's what? Thursday morning. So we got two days for this week and then five days for next week. So seven trading days for 2.54% out of the money. Um, again, uh, when is actually, yeah, earnings is the following week, I believe. Where's where's the note on there? Yeah, earnings date is April 17th. So we'll see what how far out of the money they go on that. Um, Tesla price, 168.38. 30-day IV, 54%. Tesla price, 1554. It can go up a whole 38 cents. Uh, but again, they did not use all their contracts. They have they have 20,980 unused contracts. Uh, the green is because I had a red dot, and I said I'm going to leave the red dot until it's not red anymore. So since we flipped green yesterday, they get a green dot. Uh, earnings date again is April 17th. So we'll see how that goes. I didn't check curve, but curve never gets updated. They have 78 contracts with a 210 strike and that's 24% out of the money, but that expires, uh, May 17th. All right. Payment information. So now that March is locked in, you know, we updated the numbers. Uh, overall, there was a debit carry forward of 177 million. And a nat or a nav, you know, the nav reserve debit was 391. But again, that was a bad month. We'll start new. We're now in the month of April. May have to freeze the pains at the top. Um, so April already started with 5.3 million in short call income. That's 12 cents a share. So off we go, baby. All right, here's the holdings. Um, again, pink is the put for the synthetic, orange is the call for the synthetic. So we want the orange to be greater. Um, Oh, I, I highlighted the wrong crap here. Yeah, this should be... This should not be orange. They only have one call now, so this should not be blue. This should be orange. There you go. The two orange are the calls, and then the two pink are the puts. But either way... Like I said, it's early. So um, net asset value on Tesla is $675 million. Uh, the NAV is $1,487. And the trade price is $1,554. How in the hell? Well, I guess the NAV reflects the, uh, the ex-dividend date drop. And the trade price will at the open. Again, this trade price is as of the close yesterday. So, you know, it will reflect it properly at the open. So let's look at the uh, pre-market because I kept, I didn't take, I didn't turn airplane mode on. So I'm risking if someone calls me, then I get screwed, but hopefully no one calls me. It's, it's not as early as it usually is. It's actually, this is what, as of 7.30 AM. Yeah, I woke up late today. I slept in. Uh, all right. Tesla is up pre-market. It's up 0.85%. It's at 169.81. So I like to see that. All right. Who else had a trade? Well, MSTY had a trade. <coughs> they had a buy call, a sell put, and a sell call. So these are the typical three we see. So they added 30 to the synthetic. You know why? Because people love Misty. People keep buying into Misty because Misty is a monster. Misty is amazing. 
Um, until it isn't, of course, you know, but we're going to ride that train all the way up. Um, so anyway, they actually chose for the call on the bottom. They chose an expiration date of this week. I love it. You know, there's only two, you know, two trading days, but they went, screw it. Take advantage of this week. I like that. But anyway, let's look at the spreadsheet. It all means nothing on the screen print. So again, they have a 1,700 synthetic, just one position on the synthetic. They added the 30 contracts. So again, the buy, call, sell, put. The put is more, you know, they get a bigger credit for the put than they have to pay for the call because MSTR is priced below the strike on the synthetic. Um, so anyway, this synthetic expires on April 19th, oddly enough, two days after the uh, earnings call. Oh, no, that, never mind. That's Tesla. I'm getting these mixed up can't think anymore but anyway the uh this synthetic position it would cost them 3.1 million dollars to close mstr's earnings is actually i think it's in may all right let's go to the april tab because now we're you know we're done with march new month all right new new fresh month and the first day mstr goes up it goes up 1.47 percent msty goes up even more how how is that even possible? This fund is insane. It goes up 1.58%. All right. So they added 30 contracts. They chose an 1830 strike, 14.23% out of the money with two trading days. Look at these people. They're ready. They're ready to make some money. And they still yielded 1.25%. Two trading days and they yielded 1.25%. This is the beauty of high implied volatility. Obviously, high implied volatility equals higher risk, but it also equals higher premium. All right, they made 60,000 on that. So outstanding shares from day to day went up, you know, 225,000. And you know how much, well, Misty is not as, it's not that much. It's, well, it's double what some of these other funds are, but that's a lot. That's a big jump. Cash is actually not negative. I thought this was crazy. So cash and treasuries overall, it actually went up 3.1 million. So it obtained and it swallowed the ex-dividend date drop somehow. Unless they screwed up the numbers, but that's insane. All right, MSTY shares, 1.5 million. Short call income, again, this is just one day, 60,000 bucks they made, four cents, you know, Per share, daily income, four cents, obviously, daily yield 0.09%, which comes to a 33% annualized yield. But again, it's just one day. But I have that now going forward. So we can see what we're yielding on an annualized basis on the weekly calls alone. Hopefully, you guys do appreciate these new fields. Believe me, it was not easy because I added all this information through my little tiny iPhone, right? And I did it while hearing crazy psychotic eight-year-olds screaming and going crazy while chasing a one-year-old around. Um, so anyway, look at this. This is going to be a mouthful, but I'll do my best. Here we go. We have 27 contracts, 1770 strike. That's 10.2% out of the money. By the way, all of these expire Friday, which is two trading days. Um, 49 contracts, 1800 strike. That's 12.07% out of the money. 30 contracts, 1830 strike. 13.94% out of the money. 195 contracts, 1985 strike, that's 23.59% out of the money. 17 contracts, 2130 strike, that's 32.62% out of the money. 22 contracts, 2350 strike, 46.32% out of the money. I think it's safe to say we are looking pretty good on Misty. MSTR price is 1606.11. 30-day IV actually dropped. It's at 139%. Um, earnings for MSTR is 429, end of April. Having is April 19th, which is, wow, that's the same date of the synthetic expiration. Oh, boy. Um Misty is 42.14 and possible capital gains. I mean, can you believe this? $9.24 in two days. Again, reaction, you know, if MSTR goes up, you guys are making money. You're making bank. That, that picture could be a bank too. All right, fresh new month. I added April. Again, nothing new. 60,000 bucks, whoopie-doo. 
Uh, the NAV Reserve, they reserved $4.64, you know, after that payment they decided to make. So all in all, March was a successful month. Again, credit for carry forward as a whole, $6.1 million. NAV Reserve per share, $4.64. So now that money can be paid out later. So if they have a bad month and it, they don't make any money, guess what? They, they have money from the prior month. So this fund is doing performing outstanding. You couldn't ask for better performance from a new fund. And this is why I wanted to cover it from the beginning to just see how, how good it does. Little did I know it was going to do this great. Obviously, I would have bought in. And I still haven't bought in, by the way, but it's all good. I'm not, I don't, I don't know. I got, I'm, I'm still debating. Um, right now, I'm doing a lot of options that I kind of need funds for. Uh, so what do we got here? Again, in blue, these are all the contracts. And this is how much they cost to close. They're sitting pretty right now, so we'll see how it goes. Again, two trading days, but the net asset value is $58.1 million. The NAV is $37.54. Again, this is post. I guess this shows that it is post, um, you know, to the question before. Is, did they screw up? I guess they did not because the NAV shows $37.54. So this is with the drop from ex-dividend date. Uh, the trade price from yesterday's close is $42.14. So, yeah, there it is. What a day, man. What a day. MSTY, guys. All right, pre-market. Let's see. Let me refresh just in case. You never know. Marketwatch.com. You're welcome for always using you. Um, oh, my God. Pre-market, it's up 3.11%. Damn. Wow. Good job. Good job. All right, who do we do next? Well, let's see. People love Coney. Let's go to Coney. All right. Coney has the 250 synthetic. Again, Coney had no trades, though. Um, so coin is priced at 251. The 250 synthetic obviously is a little less than that. So they would make $4 million. But this synthetic expires on April 19th. So we got some time there. Uh, we're done with the March tab. So let's go to the April tab. Coin went up yesterday. Again, the market flipped halfway through the day. Coin went up 2.33%. Coney went up 2.31%. How's that for capturing capital gains? Hell yeah. Um, yeah, so no trades, but if you want to look, so these are the four trades from last last week or whatever. They yielded about 1.83%, 1.95%, 1.39%, and 0.71%. But that one was added recently, I think. Uh, outstanding shares day to day. Uh, they went from 13.9 million to 14.1 million. Not a huge increase, 200,000. Cash and treasuries, there's the go. There you go. Cash in the negative, because again, ex dividend days reflecting. Uh, cash and treasuries went down 33 million, because again, they got to pay us. They got to pay us. They, they did not have that gigantic, you know, jump in buying to, into their funds, or else you would have seen a, a possible positive like Misty. Outstanding shares, 14.1 million, no income, no distribution, blah, 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 because no trades. So obviously that'll change. This is a fresh month. So I always like starting with a fresh month. So I know my numbers are good. I always feel, you know, I do this daily. I'm entering the numbers, most of this manually. So I, I have to always, you know, be careful and make sure I get everything right. All right, here we go. Here's the uh, four sets of contracts, 600 contracts. 265 strike, 5.33% out of the money. All of these expire, by the way, on Friday. Two trading days left. 490 contracts, 270 strike. That's 7.32% out of the money. 14,360 contracts with a 285 strike, 13.28% out of the money. And then 425 contracts with a 292.50 strike, 16.27% out of the money. Two trading days. And this... Looks amazing. Coin price, 251, 30-day IV, 94%. Love it. Uh, chart is all over the place. Again, having is April 19th, but Coney price is 2879 as of the close yesterday. Uh, possible capital gains for these two days, 371. I'll take it. Reaction, yeah. Coney fund manager, they, they know what's up. They know what they're doing. All right, so again, distribution-wise, they decided to pay 279 um, but they, you know, they had money. They had a lot of money. So they reserved 361 in NAV. So I'm showing for this fiscal year, 
By the way, fiscal year is the taxable year. And when we the reason we talk about this is because they have to pay. They are required to pay out 90% of what they make as an RIC. So their fiscal year is November 1st to October 31st. And that's how I'm tracking these funds. So if you guys were wondering why I keep talking about that. So right now I'm showing they technically owe us about $1.53 per share. But when we're talking about dollars and cents, um, you know, it's about what, 20, a little less than 20 million. So again, so they had a credit carry forward uh, last month of 50.1 million. So they had an outstanding month. I mean, last month was amazing. What an amazing month for Coney. Um, I can't say that enough. This fund has been like unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, what do we got here? So again, we got the pink, the pink put, and then we got the orange call. We want the orange call to be greater than the pink put, and it is. And then we have everything in blue. You know, these these are looking pretty good. We have two trading days. We'll see how it goes, though. All right, the net asset value is three hundred sixty six point eight million. The NAV shows twenty six oh one. That should include the drop for the ex dividend date because the trade pl price as of yesterday's close is twenty eight seventy nine. All right. Let's go to the pre-market, baby. Drum roll. I'm expecting green. I am expecting green. Let's refresh. Refresh market watch. Oh, yeah. Not that green, but it's up 0.99%. And coin is priced at $24.06. So there you go. All right. One more, baby. We are here barking. But uh, yes, I'm in the car. Because if I hit record... Anywhere in this tiny house, you will hear you will hear the crazy children in my life. All right, so the synthetic position, of course, you know we hear dogs, but it's all good. The synthetic uh, nine fifteen again that expires five seventeen. This is for Nvidia. <coughs> Nvidia is priced at eight eighty nine. So yeah, this would cost seven point six million, which is irrelevant. By the way, I didn't talk about this. I added the April profits down below in orange. Obviously, new month, so synthetic additions. All right, so what do we got? NVIDIA. NVIDIA. I mean, I, oh, didn't go green yesterday, huh? So NVIDIA has been kind of on the slow decline. It's very slow, which is good. Um, NVIDIA went down 0.55%. NVIDIA went down a little more, 0.58%. Interesting. So if we look at those contracts that I've added so far, again, if you're just interested in what they're yielding, anywhere from 0.7% to 1.33%. So they're capturing what they can. Um, outstanding shares from yesterday to today, 12575000 to $13.1 million. Cash and treasuries overall went down by $18.8 million. But again, today's payday. So they got to pay us, the cash gets moved on, and then so on and so forth, and eventually hits our brokerage on the payment date. 13.1 million outstanding shares, zero income, because it's a fresh month. So let's take a look at the active tab, and what do we got? Four sets of contracts. I'll go from lowest to highest. 135 contracts, 930 strike, that's 4.54% out of the money. 3,725 contracts with a 940 strike. That's 5.66% out of the money. Okay, that's tight. Two trading days, but that's tight. Let's, let's hope, uh, let's hope we, we still make money off of that. And then we got 60 contracts with a 945 strike, 6.22% out of the money. And then 150 contracts, 995 strike, 11.84% out of the money. These strikes are all over the place, and I freaking love it, man. I love on the, I love when they do that. Nvidia price is eight eighty nine. Thirty day IV forty three percent. Chart is up and down all around. Uh, next Nvidia earnings is May twenty second, so we don't really care about that at the moment. Um, their price as of the close yesterday again was twenty nine twenty, but it's going to drop today for ex dividend date. Um, One seventy one would be the capital gains for the week and. Yeah, just a happy guy, you know, the NVIDIA, NVIDIA manager, you know, he's not a cocky guy, he's just a happy-going guy, you know, he's like, I know what I'm doing, I'm not going to get all in everyone's face, I'm just making money, I'm just the best fund, you know, I'm the GOAT, so they say, right? All right, new month, again, I've just started tracking NVIDIA, this is the first new month from scratch, April is, 
Um, and we'll see how it goes. Um, again, this is a fund I've owned from the very beginning and it's one of my favorite funds. Um, you know, it's solid. I just haven't covered it cause I haven't had time, but here I am now covering four funds, but I'm just doing my best to get through all four until I could drop one by at the end of the month. All right. What do we got? We got in pink, the put orange of the call. Obviously the pink is greater than the uh, the orange because they are below their synthetic. And then in blue, these are all the calls that expire this week. Right now they look good though, but we'll see. Net asset value, 347.8 million. The NAV is 26.55 and the trade price as of yesterday's close is 29.20. So yes, the NAV reflects the drop in X dividend date because they took the money from the cash. Again, on X dividend date, the money comes from cash. Money comes from cash, and since cash goes down in value, the NAV goes down in value, and that's what makes it drop. So when you see the drop on X dividend date, that is exactly why. This money has to come from somewhere, right? Everything is transparent, though, so we see everything. This is an investment that we know every single thing that goes on. So there's not, this is like a, this is a beautiful thing. Like it's a beautiful thing that you know every single thing about your investment. You know every trade that they do. You know how much they make on every trade. Like you, not every fund does this. I just want you guys to know that. So whether you hate this fund or you love this fund, you can't deny the transparency of the fund. You know, this, they show everything and it's, it's, it's amazing, uh, which is why I'm covering it. You know, from day one, I saw the intraday trades. I'm like, wait, let me try to figure this out. Because when I first saw these funds, I'm like, I have no idea what they're doing. You know, I kind of knew, I knew options, to, you know, the basics of options. And I'm like, all right, let me, let me, let me review these funds. And sure enough, I learned a lot. I have learned a lot. I never even heard of the word synthetic before I'd gotten into these funds. But I just love it. Anyway, enough, uh, enough uh, kissing in Viddy's ass. Let's uh let's look at the pre-market. <clears throat> Nvidia probably red. I'm saying red. Oh, I'm wrong, of course. I'm always wrong. Anyway, Nvidia Nvidia is up 1.22%. It's $900.49. So, awesome, awesome job. Wow, everything's green. Amazing day. So, again, guys, here's the summary. Today is ex dividend date. So, all of your yield max funds will drop, which means if you owned a lot of yield max, your account will your account will look red. But some may consider this a good buying opportunity. I only consider it a buying opportunity if your the current amount of the fund is below your cost basis. That's just how I work, you know. Um, but either way, it's a good day. Um, you'll get paid, I believe it's next week. I think it's the Monday. And then, you know, we'll start all over. So we're starting fresh. We have four funds I'm covering. So since I'm covering four funds for an entire month, the least I can ask, I guess, is if you hit the, you know, that little stupid like button. You know, it's annoying. It's probably the most annoying thing you hear YouTubers say, hit the like button, but at least I don't say it in the beginning. I say it at the end because that way you can decide if you like this video or not. Obviously, if you made it this far, you probably do. Or either that or you can't get to your phone or device to shut it off soon enough. Um, but either way, uh, I think it helps the algorithm and helps my channel grow. I'm I, honestly... About I'm almost going to hit 10,000 subscribers. I'm not sure if that means anything in the YouTube world. Probably not. Uh, but either way, if you want to help me hit those uh, 10,000 subscribers, and if you're not a subscriber, you can always hit the button for that. And then, you know, there is a notification thing. It'll, uh, you know, it reminds you when a new video comes out. That's what I do for all the YouTubers I watch. It's so easy. Um, but anyway, when I hit 10K, maybe I'll do a, a post celebrating... I'll probably do a video about that, you know, where my YouTube channel has started to where it's come. So the sooner I hit 10K, the sooner you get that video if you want it. Um, maybe I'll do that one live. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. As, I don't know. I got some Monday lives coming up. I got to figure out some content for that. Anyway, enough rambling. I got to get in the house um, and, uh, you know, try to upload this video, which will probably take a very long time, unfortunately, because I have no Wi-Fi here. But anyway, guys, as always, not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. And that's what it's all about, having fun, being entertained. You know, and investing is fun. You know, it, it doesn't have to be boring. It can actually be really fun if you make it fun. So, you know, that's what that's what this channel is all about, just having fun, sharing my journey to retire on dividends. So you all are welcome 
to watch the videos. Obviously, you're all are welcome to join the Discord. Um, so feel free. Let's let's talk about how, how we can retire on dividends. We're all on the same team. We all want to retire early, um, you know, and just live off our dividends. That's it. So there's nothing to fight about. Let's all be friends. You know, same, same we're on the same game, man. Let's help each other out. So anyway, I got to go. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day. Uh, don't be scared of the red. It's just, you know, it's just the drop, ex-dividend date drop. So hang in there. Later.